I think so. Yeah, like absolutely. I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like uh, COVID kind of gave us all a greater appreciation for our, for our like miniature hobbies. And now we're, we're moving. Yeah. We like, COVID made us want to be experts in them. It's like, oh, you like cooking? Why don't you, I'm just gonna be the, I'm just be like, I know what I'm talking about. I know where to get the best ham from like the best place. I know all this stuff. I think, I think COVID did that for all of us. It's like, if you like drinking wine over COVID, you probably became like an amateur sommelier over that time because why not do it? If you have the time, do it as well as you possibly can. No, that's fair. So then other than yeah. exploring the alcoholic world, what other things did you pick up during COVID? Cooking, which I've always been, I think you, you know me, like I'm a big food guy. I love food, uh, but I never really like, I was so, I just was felt lazy and felt like I wouldn't enjoy cooking for myself. And now that is all changed. Like I sold my old place, <laughs> bought a new place where the kitchen is amazing. Do the whole yeah. thing now. Like it's, it's like therapy for me when I'm not working, like the, nice. the cooking's like therapy. I love it. Nice what's what's the gourmet yeah. that you you choose to dive into i try to hit a little bit of everything but i gotta tell you if like my stomach for the most part doesn't generally just be like let's make a pasta let's just make italian all the time so like i think i've made pasta probably like three times three different pastas this week and like spend like you know like four yeah. hours making the pasta like a, like a long, yeah. all day sort of thing sort of an affair which is, nice. you know, I think yeah. food, you can take it in food when, when there's been time and love put into it. 